Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. To support the channel like the awesome members and patrons to the right, click the join button or the Patreon link in the description. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Estrada, where's UK mod? So we're just going to keep on going from where we left off. Um, basically, I realized I can just dump everything on my bike with, or my 4x4 over here. What I should do though, do we have any food? How do we not- wait, 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 resource package, medicine, food. I want to say, how do we not get any food from this just now? There should be some food tins as well. I mean, I looted one of those. Wait, does this place even have food? Now I'm not even sure. Building supply, ammo supply. Okay, let's do this. So we're going to go for... I should probably just do this over here. Remark that I've done it. And then I should take it off the map so it doesn't clog my map. Because already I need to take off all of these markers over here. Except obviously the trader. Although, no, we're not even going to go back to that trader anymore. Um, I want to make sure that if we... Uh, we're just going to stay in this town for the rest of the series. If we need anything, we make use of these four traders. If they don't have it... Hurry. Unfortunately, that's it. Ooh. Hello? Why there's no one spawning in here? And zombie days, all four sides of this had a ton of guppies in front, dogs, zombies on... The amount of vultures on the top, I'm thinking it's going to be insane. Weapon Nation Mega Store. I know there's awesome loot in here. You know, I'm going to loot this one after we loot the bookstore. Because I'm, I'm looking for that schematic, man. I need that chainsaw schematic. So if we can get lucky with this one, why not? Break, 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 break. Ooh, there's a ton of mechanical parts over there. Look at those beautiful mechanical parts pieces. Okay, so the final stash for this place is up top. Let's go for the final stash first. It might be a mistake. I don't know how many bosses and stuff are going to be here. Just please don't tell me there's vultures up here. There's never any zombies up here. So if all of a sudden there's a vulture, I might have a problem. See, there's so many boxes and stuff. We might just get lucky. If I can snipe most of the zombies from over here, that's also going to be awesome. Let me just take this out of the way. Nope. Please don't wake up the zombies down below. Okay, scrap. Uh, it's okay, but not what I want. Well, at least the crucible. We needed a crucible for one of our forges. That's awesome. Okay, if I turn my lights back, light is off. Okay, cool. Reload. I want to make sure that I don't accidentally step on the land uh, the landmines because that's definitely going to wake up the zombies. What did I just say? What did I just say? You just zoom in all the way, but with this mouse, that's the best I'm going to get. Okay, I got the XP for that, right? I need to make sure that I get the XP, otherwise it doesn't count. Like, the kill doesn't count. There's definitely going to be zombies downstairs, but all I'm interested in are the zombies up top of here that are going to cause a problem. Anyone else? There's definitely going to be zombies in the back rooms, and there might still be zombies up top of here. Yep, definitely. Okay, you're dead. Come on, bum shot. Did I kill her? Yeah, that killed her. Damn, she's weak. I'm going to use a shotgun over here to open up the special loot. So if there's any zombies left, they're definitely going to make their presence known. Oh, there might actually be vultures on the roof. I need to be careful. This hole over here does not bode well for me. Okay, I'm just going to use the shortcut keys. It's faster than scrolling. Okay, put the right, yeah, the right glasses are on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, Iron Breaker and a robotic turret. The turret I'm not really that interested in right now. But Iron Breaker, since I already have one on this one, I can now put it on this one. This is going to help a little bit with the damage, I think. Okay, now we have to go downstairs and do some looting. Ooh, the lag though. The lag though. I'm going to try and be as careful as possible. You only do one PO at a time. You only get one POI's attention at a time. Because then we don't have to worry too much about the lag because it's just that one POI spawning in. Technically, before we even start looting a POI, we need to make sure that we put in kill all. So that the surrounding zombies can die. But if I do that now, the zombies that are in this POI are also going to die. And then that's going to be cheating. I don't get how some of these zombies don't YOLO. Oh crap. Please don't give me brain infection. 
Okay, I'm trying to be too careful. Too... Not loud. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Yeah, just come straight for me. Just straight. It's gonna be making it much easier for me to kill you. Guys, does the frame rate bother you as much as, uh, as it does me? Or is it just me being overly anal about it? I don't know if, I, I hope that's the right way to use that word. <laughs> Otherwise, damn. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on. I need that chainsaw. Comes to Papa. We'll probably make sure the zombies can't break out too easily to me. Well, if they come to me, it's going to be much easier for me to kill them. Come on. I'm in dire, dire need of the chainsaw schematics. If I can't find it here, this is my last hope for now. Obviously not my last, last hope. I might get lucky in another bookstore. But when are we going to get another bookstore as big as this or as close as this? Now these we can loot, but that's only going to give us scrap polymers. So if I just do this fast enough, except for the noise, it's definitely going to give us a ton of resources. Oh, hello, hello. Just make sure there's no zombies behind me or beside me there. Booyah, bye bye. What am I seeing? Steve Farrell, where are you? Oh, he's behind that door. Because his hand stuck through, I could actually see his HP even though I couldn't see him. That's kind of dumb. Okay, uh, schematic, schematic, schematic. All the HD ones we just scrap. Remember, constantly we need to make sure that we have enough space in us to actually loot stuff. So if I'm just constantly grabbing stuff without scrapping, without making space in myself, then this is gonna suck. Every time I see a texture glitch or something like that in the distance, I feel like the, are there zombies like right next to me or something. I gotta be careful when we climb this pile of garbage over here. Uh, because there's a ton of landmines over there. I'm gonna have to jump over somehow. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, you jump down there, but I don't want to jump down there right now. Basically, if you jump down there, there's going to be a ton of zombies downstairs, and that's going to be the end for you. But if you go into this room where this guy is doing all the noise from, there's actually a ladder going down, so it's much, much, much safer for you. Probably just do this. Yep, there's already zombies from outside. Hello. Hello, hello, dear sir. Welcome to the Festival of Queen. Is there another... Please don't tell me there's another zombie outside. I know there's still bookcases upstairs, but for now we're just going to do this. Um, yeah, let's just help him open this up. I don't want him to have direct access to me as soon as it's open, so obviously you don't destroy this one first. There's that, thank you. I don't know if it's worth going downstairs. I can't remember what's downstairs. Oh, I just finished two of those uh, perk quests. Nice. Or perk chains. I should probably first go upstairs before I even attempt to go downstairs. Let's just grab this. Grab this. Now, how to get upstairs. I'm going to I'm gonna have to stack like this. Because if I, if I attempt to... Since I don't have the jumping ability that uh, negates the damage from landmines. Look at that. There's landmines everywhere tucked in between. So if I don't see it and accidentally step on it, that's going to suck. Oh. This landmine works if I'm not mistaken, so I have to be careful. Ooh, should probably wear the right glasses, Jean. I'm actually uh, losing out on some quite, you know, quite some good loot over here just because I'm ooh, in a kind of a bit of a rush. This time I'm accidentally going to hit this thing. Or accidentally walk back on it if I see a zombie. You can actually run away from zombies using these ladders over here. Dogs can't climb. And most zombies are not going to be fast enough. You're going to be able to jump on here, jump over, jump to the next one. And they're going to still be trying to climb the one ladder. Okay. So now... There's definitely another zombie sleeping, but I think he's... Oh, no. There's a zombie. Is this the only one? I heard another zombie sleeping. It might be outside, might be downstairs. I don't know, but I need to be careful. A compound bow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anything we don't know right now is a bonus, but 
I am like seriously looking for the chainsaw schematic. Guys, if we can just get lucky and find that, that's going to be so epic. Imagine wanting it and then finding it in the same episode. Obviously, I've been wanting it for a few episodes, but the uh, feeling still counts. Damn, I have all these HD ones, but not a simple, normal one. Remember, guys, scrap the HD schematics separately. If I were to scrap both of those just now, I'd get one of those blue schematics. If I scrap one at a time like this, I get one each. So obviously, you get more if you scrap one at a time. I need to be careful though, because I think there's a landmine. No. I thought there's a landmine on this side as well, but it doesn't look like it. I need to be careful though, just now it's camouflaged or something. Okay, uh, yeah, we've done all of these bookcases. I need to make sure though. If I miss one bookcase and that ends up having the thing that I'm looking for, I'm going to be so sad. See, this is the fireman one. Now, where's the damn chainsaw? If I can just find the chainsaw itself instead of the schematic, that's going to save me a ton of headache as well. Oh, did not get this one. That would have been epic if that actually had the very last one we needed. Okay, um, this is a very good armor. Where did I put that armor just now? Let me just make some space over here. Basically, the one I just found is a steel armor, if I'm not mistaken. Plus six. Plus six. Let's see. Steel plating. Yes, it's the best one. If I'm not mistaken, we already have steel plating over here. We have HD steel plating on this one. We have... HD iron plating on this one, so I can do this. Steel plating, there you go. And then I think the other ones also just have iron armor, but that's still great. So now we have the best armor plating on all of our clothing. Come on, legs, stop it, please. Stop, stop, stop stuttering. The problem is the more zombies from outside come for us right now. Uh, how did you even make it up here? There's landmines. That is kind of worrisome. Is this a wandering horde or what? Oh wow, there's a few of these that even still had schematics in them. I didn't even realize they were there. This has to be a wandering horde, right? I'm actually thinking of just quickly dumping stuff on the bike because at the moment we are way too full to go downstairs. We might actually get lucky downstairs and uh, get the final ones we need. Hello. Oh, I need to be careful. Need to be careful. If they blow up this car... Oh, you just fell all the way down. If they blow up this car trying to get to me, I'm also going to take the brunt of the damage. Boom! Oh, I'm one damage away from actually killing those guys in one shot. Nice. The other guy fell down, so unfortunately I'm going to have to leave him for now. I wonder where else I could actually find what I'm looking for. I'm looking for either the chainsaw or the schematic. What's this place called? Okay, let's go. I'm gonna take a chance, head downstairs. Perhaps I get what I need. Perhaps not, who knows. Either way, you won't know until you try. Um, If I can quickly just get in here, please. Do this. Come on, reload. Every time I wanna fire with this gun, I forgot that I didn't reload. Oh, I can't shoot through the wood. That sucks. At least she's going to have to break through the wood as well to try and get to me. And she's going to fall in somewhere, but let's just do this. Okay, now the shotgun's in the shine over here. The only problem is I, I'm definitely going to be calling a three more or two. Hello, snakey snake. There's no way the other zombies didn't wake up from that just now. Giant radiated snake. No, thank you. Like, ew. <laughs> oh, come on. Now the corpse is in the way. Hello, hello, hello. If I can do this with all of you guys, that would be so awesome. I'm trying to actually make as much noise as possible so that they will come for me. Is that way I don't have to go for them and the shotgun's a perfect spread over in the doorway. I thought that was a schematic I didn't know just now. Uh, let's just do this. Like a little go. Oh, Ooh, the lag. Okay, so we're going to have to open this up. The more I use shotguns down here, the better for us. Because obviously we want all the zombies to wake up. Ooh, can I do it? Double penetration? 
Oh, I don't have penetration on this gun yet, do I? Damn, that would have been awesome. Imagine being able to shoot through all these zombies. Okay, so shotgun at the ready. Boom. Boom. Don't don't explode the car, please. They might actually try and destroy this car if I'm not careful. You know what, let me just quickly range this car. I can't take a chance with them falling in over here or destroying the car and then it's exploding in my face. Oh, that's an... That's a fake block. That means there's some loot over there, doesn't it? Yeah, I should be able to... Oh, no, I thought I might be able to open a few boxes like that, but it doesn't work. Come on, I need that schematic. I'm actually going to loot this pure eye next door. I think there was a pure eye similar to this... Um, at the old town, and I didn't loot it. That's one of the buildings I didn't loot. If I'm not mistaken, there's some... Landmines in between these boxes. I need to be careful not to accidentally step on one. Sniper rifle to the rescue. Boom! Yeah, but yeah. Um, guys, if you loot this place, you're gonna get a ton of scrap polymers. You know what? Let's just first make sure we kill all the zombies. Uh, I don't want to be worried about other stuff as well. Boom. There's a guppy. I'm screwed. Guppy? Well, then again, as long as I'm able to stop the guppy, uh, guppy's run, I'm safe. Any yeah, landmines over here? I need to be careful. Okay, now, the rest of this we can just super loot or speed loot. Come on, I need schematics. I really thought that this might be my solution. We just need the chainsaw or the chainsaw schematic, so either one will work. But unfortunately, my luck is really terrible. I should probably start crouching more when I do stuff, because the amount of noise you're making right now is going to uh, attract the attention of so many zombies in the area. What was that just now? Oh. Normally, I'm like, wait, what's that noise? Did a zombie just hear me? We should probably make sure that we aren't encumbered or full of the year. Um, nurse you back to health. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to do these challenges. I know I might be able to get some XP from these, but I never, I almost never get to them in any of my series. So doing them right now would just be a massive waste. Um, glues we can actually scrap because if I'm not mistaken, all the glues or all the dyes rather go into paint form. And you can make any dye with paint. You don't need any coloring or anything like that. That's kind of awesome. Okay, do we have any rifle parts? I don't think so. If I do this, we're going to get steel tool parts. I need to scrap stuff that actually gives me iron. Just to make sure that we don't have too many stacks of stuff over here. And food and drink, obviously, we need to make sure we're full all the way. But we really don't have that much of an option when it comes to food and drink. If I'm not mistaken, our bike's actually awesome. Oh, I keep saying bike. I think the 4x4 is also completely full at this stage. I need to be careful. Every time I get close to an opening like this, zombies from on top might be able to get to me. All they have to do is fall down and then voila, they're there. The only problem when you're crouching, guys, is sure it makes less noise, but it takes so much longer. For those of you who don't know, uh, crouching actually makes you loot uh, or makes the timer go two times longer. So say something, say when you're standing, you loot something and it takes 10 seconds. If you're crouching, that's going to take 20 seconds. But it's going to be quiet so zombies won't hear you. So you have to think, do you want zombies to hear you? Um, if you don't mind zombies hearing you, obviously stand. It's way, way faster. Um, at this stage, do we need cobble? I could easily actually go and just quickly pick up all the cobble over here. But I don't think we need it. We're mostly now in the concrete stage. And also, I need to start thinking about space. At this stage, we haven't even built our base yet. I'm first looking for the chainsaw so we can get the building blocks from the builder class. So until we do that, I haven't even started my base yet, so we need space. Those uh, few chests that we have at the base or the, the base location are only going to last that long. Please don't step on a landmine. Please don't step on a... Well, then again, I think at this stage, with all the armors and stuff we have on, if I were to step on a landmine, we wouldn't die. Although... <laughs> I'm not going to test that. Because we might just get unlucky and have like 1 HP left and a zombie hits us or something. Untouched. Untouched. Thank you. 
Okay, so we got everything in this place has to offer now. We stripped it clean from top to... Well, technically, we didn't strip anything. Um, basically, you, get, you can get way more stuff. Uh, if you were to go and scrap everything. <laughs> but I just don't have the kind of time to go and scrap all of these lockers. All of these uh, pieces over here. It's just going to take way too long. You were able to left click you just now. Oh, you know, if I put the iron breaker on this one, I think you can take one more mod, right? No. Um, well, this, I wonder what does more damage. This one or the iron breaker? Oh, yeah, I didn't do this side yet. Uh, let's do this. Imagine now getting the chainsaw. Now that I remembered this side. But I think I'm jinxing myself too much, so it's not going to happen. Okay, some of these things might be able to stack, but very, very few. If you think of the stuff we have on our bikes, it's mostly actually just um, schematics. But I need to technically go to... I'm just going to drink that or use that. I need to go to the trader as soon as possible and sell most of the stuff. Because at this stage, we just we have way too much crap with us. We don't just have all loot with us. We have stuff that we don't even need. Okay, um, if we don't, if we have enough space, if I put stuff on my bike, I'm going to try and loot the place next door. Although at this stage, we need to make sure we don't waste too much stuff. So let's see. If I sort this one, I'm going to scrap this. I'm going to scrap that. That I might need. This we can drop. Scrap. Dog food, you can make XP, uh, XP elixir from that. So no thank you. I'm not going to scrap that one. This we can sell. Rifle. Well, we do have rifle pods. So technically, then I can go and scrap. Where's that rifle? Uh, this one. It's going to give me rifle parts. The more we can scrap right now, the better. Um, green tools like this, we're never going to use. No, I'm not even going to try and sell them at, at this stage. We can get iron from them, so why bother? Okay, so we're going to do this. Can anything stack? Yes. Can anything drop? Yes. Now the problem is... You know what? Let's just quickly go and sell stuff to the trade, I think. We are, well, we're supposed to be very close to the trader. So if we can at least sell all the books, that's going to clear up my inventory quite considerably, so we'll be able to do way more things. Grab, drop, 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 drop. Uh, no, we can sell this one. I can't remember if I ever dropped. Did I drop any other awesome loots over here, like uh, uh, silver nuggets and stuff? Okay, food is almost full, so there's no point in dropping that one. See, but most of my inventory is full right now because oh, I said we're not going to do these, right? Most of my inventory is full right now just because of the fact that uh, we have so much crap on us. Most of these are, are stuff we're going to sell anyway, so there's no point in keeping them on us. So the trader is supposed to be this direction, right? North. And I can just make some space. I'll come back for this place to the left as well. And I can quickly mark as well that I've looted this um, bookstore just now. Post office. I don't think that's going to have anything awesome in it. You see, this place across the road might actually have some working stuff tools for us. But I know for a fact that when you go in there, it's not going to have that much stuff. I think we're going to have a lot of luck inside this Eden over here. But it's so big. Do you know how long it's going to take us just to loot that? It's insane how long it's going to take. Greetings, stranger. I've got the best deals. Okay, when do you game. reset? It's day 25. You restock day 26. I already checked all of you for chainsaws, so there's no point in checking again. He somehow closed it all behind me. Yes. Remember that I couldn't remember. <laughs> that could have been bad. I don't want any zombies coming in behind me. I can just shift click it, but sometimes just faster double clicking. Because the, the shift click doesn't always work for some reason. And I have no idea why, because I've tried in the past and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, any other reason? You know what? I should be able to buy a ton of concrete mix from these guys. But is it going to be worth it? Should I save my cash and see if they don't perhaps have the chainsaw in the morning? I don't know if I'm only going to be able to get the chainsaw as soon as we loot the chainsaw. I think that's how it works. Usually if you get lucky and find a chainsaw, that's when you are able to craft that chainsaw. Or you know, loot it further places, other places. The trader is only going to basically have it as soon as we have it. But we need it before then. Oh, nice. <laughs> Bumper turn. Okay, but, uh, guys, we need loot. We might get lucky with the chainsaw at the construction site. But I, I want to check, uh, check this place out. Lattes. What's this? Neuter's Lattes. And, but now that I'm this close, the zombies have respawned already. Oh, this place has some good loot as well. 
Ooh, um, this is a fair. If I'm mistaken, inside over there, there's a ton of boxes and stuff as well. Which side? Which side? I know there's a ton of ammo piles over here. You know, let's do this one. Uh, are those vultures or are those zombies? Okay, those are snakes. Oh, wow. I just managed to kill it last shot. Nice. I love the sniper rifle. Oh, yeah. Free XP right there. Munitions box. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, breaching rounds as well. Nice. Oh, there's more snakes. Yeah, I forgot about that. All of these tents of you have more snakes. They just hope it's normal snakes. Okay, now let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> I love this. Oh man, guys, this sniper rifle never, get, never gets old. Okay, so... Yeah, we're just gonna loot everything. We should have enough space now that we've cleared our inventory, so we shouldn't have to worry too much about spacing. Higashi Tower might come in handy later, but that's more medicine, right? Cardboard box, cardboard box. These are just cardboard boxes, so it doesn't matter if I'm looting fast or slow. I'm gonna get as much done as possible. Ooh, this we need. Oh, come on, I need to one-shot that. The sooner we can one-shot stuff like that, the better it's gonna be for us. You know what? Boom. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Okay, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the, the tough zombies are gonna be over here. It's like a shooting range and stuff. Okay. Big boy vultures. And more zombies on the side. Let's see if I can kill these vultures without the guys behind me finding out. Oh, crap. Ooh, shotgun. Don't give me the... Don't give me the flu. Please don't give me the flu. I'm so tired of getting the vulture flu. See, if it wasn't lagging this much, I could actually change my guns easier as well. Already with the mouse being, or the, what do you call it, the scroller being so sensitive, it's really, really difficult getting the right shot. I'd have been so mad if I got the flu again. Okay, so we go over this side. Hello, big mama. Is this another snake? It would actually probably help if I actually hit the zombie. Boom! Okay. So this side's clean, it seems. I think. I just want to check the back over here, just in case we have any ugly surprises. Yeah, most of the tough zombies are going to be over here. Now I need to be careful. There might be cops, might be guys that spit vomit and stuff. What do you call those guys again? Oh, crap. Uh, ooh, hello. I wonder if these guys can also give you a special kind of infection or something. Phantasms. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm trying to not shoot the stuff behind these guys. Because some of these places actually have some pretty decent loot in them. So if you accidentally end up destroying something great, that's gonna... So oh, you gave me a fright, wild boar. These is not attacking me, so I don't have to attack him. They're actually... Guys, that made me uh, jump just now. I thought it was gonna be like a, a guppy or something. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I love the fact that tools also do a ton of damage to these guys. It isn't always like that. Sometimes tools just don't do damage to zombies in mods. You have to use actual weapons or a weapon axe, not just a fire axe or steel axe. I don't even, I don't even know if that makes sense to some of you. But just how the game works. Ooh. Probably check if these have cash in as well. Every little bit of cash does help in the long end. Or the long run. Armor. Armor. 
probably be wearing my lucky little goggles for better quality. Okay, now clothes. Scrap, scrap. We don't need... That's just one, right? Yeah. We don't need any of these clothing pieces, so I'm just going to scrap everything we find. As far as I'm aware, we don't actually really need any of these. What's in there? The boars? Wait, 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 there's more! Hello, shipping crate! Okay, that actually took me by surprise. I didn't think there was more to that place. Man, my nose is so itchy all of a sudden, I don't know why. I think it's getting late. <laughs> I just recorded three episodes in a row just to get my mind off of stuff at work. So, yeah. Basically, it just had to do with accusations. Stuff that I never do, but I got accused of, basically. Anyone that knows me as a person knows that stuff that I was accused of, eh, there's no way that I'd do stuff like that. And it's not anything serious. Uh, don't get me wrong. Don't jump to conclusions. It's nothing serious. It's just that still, uh, to be accused of stuff like that. And just because I want to talk to people. Just the conversation. I just, well, otherwise you guys are going to jump to conclusions. Uh, basically, one lady that quit today said that, yeah, I'm flirting with her. She's a married woman. How dare I flirt with her? And her meaning or definition of flirt is just me talking to her. Literally, just me talking to her. Um, she said, yeah, but everyone has their own version or own definition for what it means to flirt. I mean, come on. You really think that much of yourself. And that's a funny thing, guys. There's nothing attractive to me about this lady. Okay, uh, we're supposed to go in here. I need to be careful. Sometimes I don't even see the zombies hunched over. And yeah, they uh, catch me off guard. I don't want to get brain infection and stuff from these zombies. It's so easy to catch an infection. No pun intended. <laughs> um, yeah, it's so easy to catch an infection uh, in this game that you need to be careful. I don't want to constantly make those HD kits. And the ones I have, I don't want to waste. Okay, yeah, any other vultures over here? Let's turn the light off. Imagine there's a zombie behind me and I don't even see it. If I'm not mistaken, this room is going to be crawling with zombies as well. Unblock that all. Beautiful. Okay, yeah. Um, that room should still have a zombie or two in there. And then there's gonna be a few safes in there. That's not the greatest of your eyes, but it's still fun. I know this one. I just thought I'm gonna get more secret stashes and stuff from these places. There might be... A, no, that's that's the toilets over there. We'll, we'll see. Let's see what the loot over here is. Whether it was really worth it or not. And... Oh, crap. Oh, no. Virus. No, 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 that was, that's bad luck. That was a super late spawn. That was a late spawn just now. Damn. Now that I'm infected, I don't have to worry again. And look how fast they fly. Damn it. Now I'm going to have to make another one of those um, kits. And I don't even have my chemistry station down yet. When I jumped up in, I saw the birds. I was like, oh, shit. Because I knew that there was going to be a vulture. I just hate it when zombies spawn in at the last second. I mean, come on. Oh, hello. Boom! Bye-bye, head. Of course, you can't close that door, so I need to be careful of zombies. You know what, let's just do this. I don't want to have any other zombies strolling in while I'm not looking. At least it's going to take a few in-game days before... Well, not in-game days. Uh, it's going to take a while before I die. So I think I can call it an episode after this and yeah next time i can focus i just need to remember that i need to make a cure now or i'm actually feeling like just dying from the disease and getting it over with i think i feel like that's gonna be the best way not to waste resources right now because i need uh, antibiotics i don't know if i have i might have gotten lucky with antibiotics from the last few loots but i'm not sure about that if i if i didn't get lucky then i'm gonna have a problem with healing myself right now Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, I need to be careful of this. Sometimes the zombie spawns so late that if you're in, uh, you're in a place like this, you think, oh, awesome, loot. And then all of a sudden, you just get jumped. 
probably just close that door that one is closed oh what's that oh that's for like a, a, a flamethrower right cool uh, i need to make sure every now and then i turn the lights off for obvious purposes so the zombies can't see me right but then i completely forgot i forget to turn it back on and i think the, uh, the visibility for you guys gets a little bit bad okay if i'm not mistaken you can wrench these and it does give you quite a few pieces especially mechanical parts guys i am so just i'm constantly looking out for uh vents and stuff the air conditioners in this place i think that's gonna be epic i need those vents okay so we looted this place so let's just do this Come on boom boom i think every place that i loot i'm just gonna place two frames in front even though i should be able to at least remember if the frames are there the frames speak volumes right but now there's gonna be a zombie that breaks these frames without me seeing it and i'm gonna go and try and loot that place again so i'm just gonna go um, i'm gonna drop everything at the new base guys we're just gonna go on a looting spree and have fun in this town by day 27 start 27 we need to start focusing on the base uh but other than that yeah i think i'm just gonna die from this infection if i have the antibiotics i might try and do the bird thing but i'm gonna try and loot as many of these places like this place to the left it's gonna have a ton of loot this place to the right it's gonna have a ton of loot so i'm gonna drink that pill that uh, that cure at the last second so if there's more vultures i can just go ham on these guys i don't have to worry about constantly getting infected and then yeah that's gonna suck what way is that to play a game just constantly fearing that you need to make more and more and more or something but yeah if you guys like this episode please like share with your friends Comments and tips of feedback. What do you guys think about this town, the city so far? Um, unfortunately, like I said, guys, there is going to be a little bit of frame drop. Um, I can't fix it. This game is just not optimized. If this game is optimized, I think this would be epic. But yeah, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time as we tear... Oh, no, no. As we paint this town red. I want to give a special shout out to my tier 3 members and patrons. Riptide, Thummel, Z Wonder, and Anik D. Thank you so very much for supporting this channel.